Before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile-long superconducting magnet ring and the world's largest and most powerful particle, accelerator. It symbolizes the highest level of human achievement in science. In point of fact, it is powerful enough to recreate the conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. It serves as a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is the flagship project of CERN, but it's only one part of a vast network of experiments and accelerators. Picture a racetrack, not for horses or cars, but for subatomic particles, competing with time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe when the Big Bang occurred. The temperatures caused by these collisions are millions of times hotter than the core of the sun. Guided by thousands of magnets, protons journey through the accelerator, while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle. Physics. These detectors are enormous, essentially cameras that take pictures of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, seeking evidence of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena that offer clues to the universe's fundamental elements. Through studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. However, with each response comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new difficulty. The LHC is not simply a scientific instrument. It serves as proof of human curiosity and innovation. It exemplifies our unwavering pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the boundaries, we must also take into account what we already know, the ethical and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unlock forces we cannot control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former CERN researcher and an authority in the world of particle physics, has made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words reverberate with haunting clarity. CERN's Large Hadron Collider is set to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that correctly? A miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to enumerate the ramifications of this objective, highlighting the remarkable features of the LHC and its potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and explore a mysterious substance known as dark matter, which makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation under your control, the capacity to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. The mini Big Bang is not just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the birth of existence itself. But with such strength comes responsibility. And the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong. Back in 1978, the Russian physicist Anatoly Bogorsky went through an incident that would forever alter the course of his life. While constructing the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a malfunction led to his head accidentally coming into the direct path of a proton beam. The forceful beam, beyond comprehension, passed through his 
skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bogorsky's experience was otherworldly. He saw a flash with the brightness of a thousand suns, but felt no pain. The path the beam took left a trail of destruction, burning through tissue and bone. Yet he remained conscious, and even walked to the clinic for treatment. The aftermath was both horrifying and fascinating. The beam's path led to the death of localized tissue, partial facial and ear paralysis, and the loss of hearing in one ear. Astonishingly, Bogorsky's intellectual capabilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident is not just a personal tragedy, but a cautionary tale that underscores the immense power and potential danger of particle, accelerators. The risks of accelerators like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the very fabric of space and time being manipulated. These are not science fiction, but actual concerns expressed by some in the scientific community. One of the most troubling and intriguing issues associated with the LHC's experiments is the potential to create a miniature black hole. A black hole is an area of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, enigmatic entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. The idea that such an entity could be created by the LHC, even on a microscopic scale, is shocking to both the general public and experts alike. Could this black hole grow, swallowing the Earth from within, out of control? Though scientists at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and would almost instantly disappear, the mere possibility has sparked arguments, anxieties, and awe. Due to the power we wield, it is essential to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it warps the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy weight is dropped onto it. The fabric is flexible, and, if the weight is sufficient, it could result in a depression so severe that anything in its vicinity would be drawn into it. That's a stylistic illustration of what might happen in the LHC. In the world of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both bizarre and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If the LHC reaches these dimensions, they could be tapped into by collisions, leading to a gravitational funnel that forms a microscopic black hole. This enigmatic dance of particles has even caught the attention of some well-known scientists, particularly the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay, a cosmic event that would endanger not only the Earth, but the entire universe itself. The esteemed British cosmologist and physicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his worries regarding the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future prospects for humanity, he explored the potential Risks associated with particle accelerator experiments, including those at CERN. His words were more than just caution. They were tinged with a sense of existential dread. He spoke of a worst-case scenario where an ill-fated experiment could create a state known as vacuum decay. Instability. This instability could, in theory, cause a phase change that would ripple through the very fabric of space-time resulting in a cosmic catastrophe that could engulf the entire universe. Riza's worries were unfounded, restricted to theoretical reflections. He assigned these catastrophic outcomes, albeit a low one, a probability. However, he argued that even a minuscule chance ought to give us pause. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is very small. The scientists at CERN have calculated the probabilities run the simulations, and examine the theories to argue for the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of responsible investigation, recognizing there are a lot of worries and fears concerning the LHC's operations. He stressed that there are strict, extensive safety measures in place, reviews and protocols that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost care. 
Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally encounters, and the likelihood of developing a stable black hole is astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so fragile and small that it would disappear in a flurry of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen, Hawking known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic awe, a glimpse into the depths, then vanished. Some have gone one step further, and speculated that the LHC's experiments might open the door to another universe or dimension. This notion, despite the fact that the scientific community has captured the imagination of many, has become a subject of fascination, fear, and even folklore. What lies beyond our reality? Could we inadvertently unleash forces or entities that we are unable to comprehend? The concept of opening a door to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, contributing to the blaze of uncertainty. But how did this idea come to be? And what does it mean in the context of scientific exploration? Parallel dimensions are not a new concept in physics. String theory, the most important potential for a single theory of everything, suggests that there are additional dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions may be compressed or hidden from public view, but they could, in theory, be accessed or revealed in extreme circumstances. Imagine the LHC as a key to the cosmos, unlocking sealed doors since the dawn of time, when protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth. They could, in theory, wreak havoc on the fabric of space-time, possibly revealing undiscovered dimensions. The scientific community, however, has a lot of doubt about such sensational claims. The very idea of particle accelerators unlocking the secrets of the universe has sparked more interest in the potential risks and consequences of such experiments. In the end, the LHC stands as a powerful symbol of human curiosity and ambition. It is a testament to the progress we have made in understanding the universe, but also a reminder of the risks associated with this understanding. The universe may be vast, but the more we uncover about it, the more we become aware of how little we actually understand. The quest for knowledge is one of the greatest achievements of humanity, but there are also a lot of unknowns and peril. Only time will tell if we are ready for what we might uncover next. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, is a marvel of science and technology today, but it also opens the door to questions that re-examine the very foundation of our understanding of the universe. The machine itself is an engineering masterpiece, stretching across a vast underground ring and featuring the most advanced and precise equipment ever built. It brings together a global network of scientists and researchers who are united by one goal, to answer some of the most profound questions about the cosmos. However, as scientists push the boundaries of human knowledge, they also face significant challenges, both theoretical and ethical. One of the key areas of study at the LHC is the endeavor to comprehend the forces that govern the universe. For centuries, scientists have sought to unlock the complexities of gravity, strong and weak electromagnetism, and nuclear forces. The LHC offers an unprecedented opportunity to study these forces in harsh conditions. The collision of particles at such high energies imitates conditions existing just a few seconds after the Big Bang when the universe was a hot, dense soup of particles. Because of this, researchers can investigate the behavior of energy and matter in ways that were previously thought impossible. Yet, with the potential to make groundbreaking discoveries, the LHC also raises significant concerns regarding the limits of scientific experimentation. The possibility of discovering new particles, such as supersymmetric particles or dark matter, could radically alter our perception of the universe but these discoveries could also have unintended consequences. There is a growing awareness among some physicists that the experiments being conducted at the LHC may be unlocking more than just the secrets of the universe. They may be revealing new dangers or forces that humanity is not yet equipped to handle. One of the most fascinating and unsettling ideas in this regard is the concept of vacuum decay. According to this theory, under certain conditions, the energy generated by particle collisions at the LHC could cause a catastrophic shift in the fabric of space-time, 
triggering a chain reaction that could alter the very nature of reality itself. Whereas the probability of this happening is extremely low, the potential repercussions are so severe that some have argued it is a risk that should be carefully considered. A vacuum decay event, if it were to happen, could cause the universe to collapse as we know it, potentially leading to the destruction of all matter and energy within the universe. Despite the speculative nature of these concerns, the LHC continues to be a focal point for scientific investigation. The exhilaration surrounding the possibility of new discoveries often outweighs the warning voices heard every day. Thousands of scientists work tirelessly at CERN, driven by a deep desire to uncover the fundamental truths that govern existence. However, due to the LHC's cutting-edge operation, the ethical implications of such potent experiments continue to be a topic of ongoing debate. Another area of concern is the potential for creating phenomena that we simply do not understand. The LHC has already demonstrated the ability to create exotic elements like the Higgs boson, which had previously only been speculated. However, this ability to create new forms of matter also raises the question of whether we could create particles or entities that could pose unforeseen risks.